Welcome, my name is Alex Vezina, and today I demonstrate how you can use the Smart Editor widget in ArcGIS Web App Builder to combine and copy data into the layers in your map. This video is part of the series Get Smart About Editing. Stay tuned as more videos are made available periodically. We're looking at two examples today. In the first example on the left, I will copy data from a layer in my map. In the example on the right, I will combine information by bringing together data from separate sources into a single target layer. So let's take a look at the first example. A water distribution utility is replacing a water main asset. While the old water main is to be removed and replaced altogether with a new water main in the exact same location, I don't want to delete it from the database since I want to preserve the information about the asset that will be retired. So to create a new feature in my database for the new water main line, I can quickly copy the old one. To do this, I will open the Smart Editor widget and select the template I would like to copy into. In this case, we are copying to and from the distribution main layer. From the dropdown, I then choose the option to select features to copy. And I select the water main on the map. The selected feature is listed here. I then click Create Features, and a new water main line is created and added to the layer. When I create this new feature, all the information from the old main line is carried over into the new line. This is only possible since all the field names match perfectly, given that this is being done within the same layer. I can now update the information for the new asset. and then update the lifecycle status of the old asset and change it to to be retired. Since this layer has a filter query set in the web map to show only the assets that are currently in service, the old asset now disappears from the map and only the new asset remains visible. So with these steps, we were able to quickly replace an old water distribution infrastructure asset with a new asset. Next, let us explore how you can use data from an external source, for example, extracted from a GPS, and combine it into a layer in your map. A restaurant is delivering food to its customers around the city of Redlands. Five delivery cars have been dispatched to perform the deliveries and a GPS device was provided to the drivers. Following some customer complaints that their food was never delivered, the drivers have been asked to track themselves as they drive around Redlands to perform the deliveries. In this way, the restaurant will now be able to compare the tracks and the customer locations to confirm that the drivers have been to that location and completed the delivery. In this map, you can see the location of the customers with the delivery order, and you can already observe some tracks from previous deliveries. Once the drivers return from their delivery route, they are asked to send their GPS tracks so they can be added to the map. So here we have three GPX files from three vehicles having performed deliveries. They had all been assigned a different route, such as 384, 426, and 846. So I can quickly drag and drop these files into the Add Data widget to add the tracks to my map. The Add Data widget allows you to add data to the map by searching for layers in your ArcGIS content, entering URLs, or uploading local files such as DPX files, shapefiles, or KMLs. In this way, you can temporarily add layers to the map. However, you won't be able to save these layers into the map. Once you refresh the application, the data will be gone until added to the map again. Since I would like these tracks to remain in my map, I can copy them into the routes layer. So I open the Smart Editor widget and select one of the templates I would like to copy my tracks into. From the dropdown, I then choose the option to select features to copy, and I select the new tracks in the map. A list of all the tracks that are being copied is shown, and I can decide now if any of these should not be copied by unchecking the box. 
Right now I want to copy all of them and I want to create individual line features for each track into my routes layer. I click create features and my tracks are automatically added directly into my routes layer. I can now turn off the GPX lines from the map to have a better view of the results. You will notice that despite having selected the template for the route number 384, which is brown, when copying the tracks, all my new tracks have been assigned the respective route category with the appropriate color. And if I click on one of the routes, I can see the route number in the pop-up. So for this to work, I need to make sure that both my source and target layers, here the source being the GPS tracks and the target is a routes layer in my map, they both need to have common field names. So the configurations for both the water distribution and the delivery examples are very similar. Let's review how the applications were configured and what are the data requirements if you want your data to also be automatically categorized and for the attribute information to be preserved. Let's review the case of the application for restaurant deliveries. For this workflow, I have added both the Add Data widget and the Smart Editor widget in my application. The Add Data widget is only required if you need to copy data from a layer that is not already found in your map. When configuring this widget, I can decide what kind of data can be added to the map. Since I want to add GPX files in this case, I need to make sure the checkbox to Allow File is checked. In the Smart Editor configuration, I need to make sure the layer I want to copy my data into is also editable. Then, from a General Settings tab, in the first section, I will check the box for Allow User to Create New Features from Existing Features. By enabling this option, you will now be provided with the capability to copy features from the map when editing in the application. As you may have noticed by now, this Copy Features capability behaves very similarly to the AppPen geoprocessing tools, available both in ArcGIS Desktop and ArcGIS Online, but without the option to manually match your fields. So if you want to preserve the attribute information from the source data into the target, you need to make sure the source and target field names are the same. You also need to check the box for Copied Features Values Override Defaults. This will allow for the values from the source data to be copied into the target fields, even if there are default values set for these fields. In our example here, the route numbers are being used to symbolize the lines for our target layer. If we take a look at the field names in the GPX file, you will see the defaults are name and description, with the name field being used to record the route number. So for this to work properly, I will need to make sure my target layer also uses the field called name to store the route number. I can see from the pop-up here, this is the case in this example. A quick note here, make sure the field names match rather than the field aliases. Matching is being done based on the field names only. This wraps up our copy and combine data topic. Are you enjoying the Smart Editor widget? What do you think of this video series? Please take a few moments to share your feedback with us and help us provide the tools and the information you need so that we can help you be successful. Scan the QR code on your screen to fill out the survey. Thank you and stay tuned for more.